Hello students. In this video we're going to justify our method of solution um, from the uh, previous video where we uh, constructed a characteristic equation for this ODE. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this ODE and I'm going to use this operator notation. Um, y double primed, um, I'm going to write that as uh, d2 dx squared minus 5 dy dx plus 6y equals 0. Now, uh, viewing this um, as uh, viewing this whole expression as an operator, um, you'll see is quite fruitful. Um, this um, you could look at this as look take the second derivative minus five times the first derivative plus six, very much like a function where the y is the input. Now remember that the derivative operator is a linear operator. That means you could differentiate term by term and factor out constants. Um, now you could view this operator. Um, you could actually factor this just like you do um, polynomials. The factors, of course, are minus three and two. And just to check that, if I take d dx minus three times d dx minus two, what's really going on here? If you use FOIL or however you want to do it, um, you have d dx applied to d dx, and that gives you d squared dx squared. So that's the second derivative. Then you have a minus three d dx and a minus two d dx and then you have a minus 3 times a minus 2 which gives you a plus 6 so I collect like terms here and I get a minus 5 d dx so yes you could do um, this operation with these uh, derivative operators now you'll notice this looks just like our characteristic equation remember in the previous video we had r squared minus 5 r plus 6 and here we have r minus 3 and r minus 2 now I could I could have switched it I could add r minus 2 times r minus 3 it's uh, complete it's it's uh, arbitrary here but um, you'll see that uh, we get something similar to um, our characteristic equation. Now I'm going to let u equal um, this interior part here, d dx minus 2. Um, if I would have had these switched, then u would have been d dx minus 3. There's no particular reason why um, it's uh, um, d dx minus 2 as opposed to d dx minus 3. Like I said, it's completely arbitrary. So if I let u equal that operator, um, then what what I really have here is a secondary um, ODE. Um, if I distribute the y into this operator here, I have dy dx minus 2y, and then I just reverse the equation, and I have equals u. So I'll have the secondary ODE to solve. Whereas this ODE on the left converts to um, d dx minus 3 applied to u equals 0, and then I just distribute the u, or I applied the operator on the u, and I get du dx minus 3 u and you know how to solve this equation you could do it by separation of variables or we could use an integrating factor I'll choose to do it by integrating factor um, so um, the integrating factor is uh, computed by taking this coefficient here minus 3 and um, I have e to the integral of minus 3 which is minus 3x so e to the minus 3x is the integrating factor I apply that to integrating factor to each of these terms the left hand side collapses to um, uh, via the um, product rule ddx applied to e to the minus 3x times u you could just check that and then um, 0 times e to the th minus 3x is 0 so this derivative equals 0 that means that what was in the inside must equal a constant because if the derivative is equal to a constant uh, equal to 0 then you must have been differentiating a constant and um, and then I just multiply both sides by e to the 3x to solve for u. And I get u equals c1 e to the 3x. Now I'm going to take this u and I'm going to input it into the right hand side of this differential equation. And this is the secondary differential equation I was talking about. Now notice that already we have one of the solutions to this ODE. If you may recall right from the previous video, c1 e to the 3x or it might have been c2 e to the 3x if it was the second one but anyways the point being some constant times e to the 3x is already a solution to this ODE so um, here we'll solve the secondary ODE here and um, I once again I'll solve this by integrating factors um, I'll apply e to the minus 2x to um, each term in the equation and then I just simplify the left hand side um, compresses to e to the minus 2x times y 
equals, and then e to the 3x times e to the minus 2x. I just add the exponents because we have the same base, and I just get e to the x. And then um, I just simply integrate both sides. On the right-hand side, we have c1 e to the x plus an arbitrary constant, c2. On the left-hand side, we integrate the derivative, and we just get e to the minus 2x times y. And then I multiply everything by e to the 2x. Um, I add the exponents, uh, e to the x times e to the 2x. Same base, add the exponents, I get e to the 3x again. That's what we had in the previous term here. This is that u term plus um, <clears throat> c2 e to the 2x, and this is the solution to our uh, differential equation. Uh, we could check um, if I write the ODE vertically here, um, y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y should give us 0. If I um, take the, uh, if I distribute 6y um, into the solution down here, I get uh, 6c1 e to the 3x plus 6c2 e to the 2x. Um, I take the derivative, the 3 drops down, the 2 drops down, I multiply everything by minus 5. And then here I um, take the second derivative, I get a 3 from the first derivative times another 3 from the second derivative, I get a 9. A 2 from the first derivative times a 2 from the second derivative, and I get a 4. And then um, you just notice that um, here, minus 5 times 3 is minus 15, minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. If I add 6 and 9, I get 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. 6 plus 4 is 10, minus 10 is 0. Check! It does solve the ODE, and this is the same solution as we got previously, and this is a justification for you as to why that characteristic equation method works. Um, I do provide a general proof, and the general proof actually employs these ideas. It's just that uh, instead of minus 5 and 6, we're going to have coefficients a1 and a0, um, but I'll leave that for another video. Um, the proof looks exactly uh, like this here, um, except we're going to have, um, this could be a little bit messier because of all the variables involved. All right, that's it. Good luck.